What up world? It's your woman butterfly. And all I gotta say right now is beep. This is only a test. This is a test, okay? That's the only thing that can be happening right now. And I'm gonna get my number two pencil and get through it. But let me tell y'all, okay? I got a couple of things to tell y'all tonight. First, let me tell y'all what's going on. Okay, so it's Friday night. We're at work. And this is the night when servers make their money. Like, <laughs> restaurants are busy on Friday nights, right? So the manager was saying that she scheduled too many servers, right? Which I, I guess that could happen. I, I don't know. It can happen. Sometimes they do need people to go home. But none of us wanted to go home. Especially me. Because I'm saving up for my car right now, right? And I just want to add on every penny that I can to it. So, I was like, well, maybe you should put some names in a hat and, and draw some names out. And maybe, maybe I shouldn't have said nothing. I should have just been quiet like everybody else. Because sometimes when you say something, it just automatically puts a radar on you in certain situations. That's how I feel right now. So anyway, uh, so she put some names in a hat and she drew two names of people and told them that they needed to go home and they didn't want to go home, right? So I'm like, yes, okay, I'm going to keep working, right? And then a few minutes later, she came and told me that I have to go home, that she, she said, she's saying that she drew some more names out the hat or something like that. So I was kind of pissed off y'all because, because I'm, I'm trying to save up for my 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 car you know and before that she was like um does anybody want to pick an extra shift up on sunday and no she came and asked me that she was like do you want to pick an extra shift up on sunday and of course i did right but i was like can you give me two minutes to answer that because i was going to check on my ride and everything and make sure i could get to work and and when i came back within i came back in one minute and I was like, okay, I want that shift. And she was like, oh, I'm sorry, I already gave it to someone else. Why would you ask someone else when I asked you, for, when I politely asked you for two minutes? Like, I don't know, I'm starting to feel some kind of way, y'all. Like, I ain't, I'm starting to feel some kind of way because it's like, let me tell you how I'm feeling. And, and this is a bad feeling. And I need to stop having this feeling because I think the devil is definitely going to prey on this feeling. But it's like, okay, that happened on the Friday night. Then I work a double tomorrow. Hopefully, I don't get cut off any of those shifts. Then I have three days off next week in a row. And it's like, I got hired to make money. Like, mm, my feeling is, you know, I don't want to work for nobody. That's my feeling. But right now, y'all, it's some gangster mosquitoes out here. Like, they're the type of mosquitoes that you can actually feel it when they land on you. <laughs> like they bump against you before they yo know, this one bit me on my arm and it just hurts so bad right now it's not normal it's not a normal mosquito bite but anyway um so you know it's like this is a test and i have to know that god is gonna gonna god is gonna come through and i'm not gonna let god down because he has not let me down so there's no need for me even though i'm like really like okay lady like okay people y'all y'all hired me y'all said y'all needed servers and now that i get in here and i want to work y'all acting like y'all don't need us you know what i mean like what's up with that so i don't know i don't like it but i'm just gonna go and maybe god wants me to do something else tonight i kind of did want to work out tonight so i think i'm gonna go uh run on the treadmill and and um, do some sit-ups or something <laughs> and get ready for tomorrow yeah that's what I'm gonna do um and also y'all let me tell you what God has told me right and I think that is <laughs> I think that is so crazy that God has told me this right when because because I've been feeling I've been feeling Charlotte sick y'all like I used to live in Charlotte North Carolina and when I lived there I was so freaking happy like I have no complaints about Charlotte. Charlotte is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful place for me. Like, I was super happy when I lived there. I met nice people when I lived there. I um, I met my 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 husband there, my ex-husband there. And and uh, 
That's what God told me, y'all. God told me that he was going to give me a husband. And it's like, I'm trying to get excited about it. I'm excited to see what kind of person it's going to be. That's what I'm excited. Because because before, before he told me that, I was feeling like, um, and I'm still kind of, you know, feeling like, okay, that means I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to do that. <laughs> That's the reason why I don't have a husband because, because it's a responsibility. Like, like I feel like a man is a responsibility, but, but God said he wants me to have help. So a helpmate. So I don't know when it's coming. I don't know if it's going to come now or in 10 years, but I know it's, it's coming. And I think that it's just kind of strange that God told me that right when I started to feel kind of charlotte sick because i freaking love charlotte y'all it's awesome there like it's just nice and it gets cold when it's supposed to and it gets hot when it's supposed to it's a great place to raise a family um um i feel like uh i j judge men by where they're from you know and and like like for instance oh, this is just me you know what i'm saying like maybe it made me my I've learned that my thinking can be like kind of like a little box sometimes but but um man, these mosquitoes ain't playing out here there ain't even no water around here there might be I don't know but they out here being so gangster right now I'm scared to get bit anyway um like for instance I think that men from Atlanta there's nice men there there's but but you have to watch out because they might be on the down low. And I just think that the the fact that um Atlanta has been compared to um to a third world country when it comes to HIV and AIDS, I wouldn't be even begin to look for a man there. And a lot of the older men are you know, a lot of them have lots of money, but but they just some of them start acting gay and I just don't even wanna take that chance. But God making me a man from Atlanta. I don't know. Um, I feel like dudes from Augusta, uh, big, a big N.O., okay, because everybody in Augusta is just kind of sleeping with everybody, and it's like, you can't take them seriously, a lot of them smell like beer, and you just can't take them seriously, and they don't take you seriously, and they don't take life seriously, so I don't even, uh, you know, I thought that I wanted to talk to somebody from Augusta, and uh, he, he was, uh, he was, like, I thought he was more sophisticated, but he was a sophisticated version of somebody who doesn't take life seriously. And it was just annoying after that. So, no, not from Augusta. All right. Guys from Miami, they just want to party, 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 party all the time. Party day and night. They always dragging you to a party. And it's like kind of annoying. I don't want to party 24-7. So, <laughs> guys from Columbia, South Carolina. They just play too much. They won't, they won't, like, if they see that, like, for instance, a man from Charlotte or Atlanta, if he sees that, you know, you don't have it all together, he still might work with you a little bit. If he has money, he's going to share his money with you. If you need something and you're his girl, he's going to help you. From dudes from Columbia don't do that. They don't do that. For me, you know what I'm saying? Maybe for somebody else, I have no idea, but that's just the, that's just the, 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 vibe that I get from them they kind of the people down the bottom they just kind of step on them step over them and they just want people to to be up where they are already and they really like to go to the strip club a whole lot all the time because there's so many strip clubs in that little town so it's like all these little strip clubs are packed in those towns and I don't want a man that goes to the strip club I want somebody that's dumb I don't even I'm not going to keep saying I don't want a man because I think that God wants me to have Well, I know that God wants me to have one. But it's just like, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna use my um, my canceling out skills that I have now. If he tells me, if he invites me to the strip club, I'm canceling it out. If he smokes, I'm canceling it out. If he drinks, I'm going to have to cancel that. Well, it depends on how much he drinks. I'm like, this ain't the man that God wants for me. I don't know who he is. I don't know when he's coming. But it's what God told me right when I was feeling sick from Charlotte. So, well, Charlotte sick. That's what I call it. I really, really want to go back to Charlotte. Like, that's the reason why, you know, I've been thinking about getting this apartment and everything. But but I don't, I don't think I'm going to... 
<laughs> I'm a, I need to stabilize myself. Yes, I do. But, but, I'm going to get me a car from here. And then I'm, I know once I get that car, I'm going to drive my behind right to Charlotte. <laughs> I already see it happening. I just already see it happening. But let me get the car first. Let me get the car first. Because Savannah's good for me. Savannah is good for me. You know, there's people here that will help me. Um, but, but, you know, I just love Charlotte. <laughs> I love it there. You're never bored. Like, it's just so great. It's like, I'm happy there. I feel good there. I feel like a, I, it's just good. I just like it, y'all. Y'all should go there. When you go there, go downtown. Go to the Epic Center. There's so much to do. Go to Carowinds. Like, man, I have no complaints about that place. And I'm so sick for it right now. So, anyway, I'm going to pass this test. I'm not going to think about how, oh, if I was in a club somewhere, I've been on May $300 by now. Instead of sitting up here, I'm, I, I made two, I had two tables, y'all. And I made $18 out of them two tables, right? And I was, the crowd was getting ready to come in and I cut off the floor. And, and, and there was a, there was a general manager in there and she was like, she was like, oh, wait a second. Don't go in the office because I don't want him to know that I've, I've cut you so early. And I should have, you know what? I should have bust her out. That's what I should have did. I should have went in the office and be like, well, I got my, I got my checkout sheet. I'm ready to go now since you cut me so early. And you don't want this, you don't want the GM to know. I don't know what's going on, but, but it's a demon. That's all I got to say. And I, tonight, while I'm doing my, um, my, um, sit-ups or whatever, I'm going to pray against it because, because I'm trying to do the will of God. So, so, uh, nothing's going to get in the way of that, you know? Uh, yeah. Cause, cause, cause nothing can. All right, so that's all I have to say for you now, babies. I will see y'all on the next episode of the Butterfly Show. Bye.